Arlington Live special edition for National Tire Safety Week. Uh, we're really excited about this uh, industry-wide uh, initiative to focus on tire safety and maintenance tips for to keep travelers safe on the road. We've got a very special guest for me today. Uh, this is IndyCar racer Bram Rahal, six-time winning champion. Um, we, he's here to help us out at the Bridgestone Americas Technical Center, where we are at our hub of designing tires and uh, and crafting tire safety. Uh, while we get a, little, a few more people to join us, why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the people that are watching may not know kind of your background. I'd love to hear a little bit more about how you got into IndyCar and your, little, your story. Yeah, so I got into IndyCar in 2007 was my first year. In fact, the car that you see behind us was the first generation of IndyCar I ever drove. <clears throat> At the time, it was called Champ Car, but again, I was still always, from a tire perspective, I've done my entire career with Firestone. In those cars, it was Bridgestone, but of course, same thing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I got an Indy car race in 2007. Uh, I was 18 years old at the time. Been doing it for a long time, 32 now. So it's gone by in a hurry for me. But uh, I grew up in a racing family. My dad, Bobby Ray Hall, was, uh, is a legend of our sport. Um, you know, it was always my dream as a kid to get involved and to be a part of this. And so I've been fortunate, as you said, to win six times. I wish a lot more than that. And we're gonna try to make it a lot more than that. Uh, but we're excited to be here. In Akron. It's actually my first time being here uh, at, the tech, at the Technology Center. Um, it's my first time being here after this. I'm going to go see how the IndyCar tires are made, which is shocking because I feel like I <laughs> should have done that many times before. But anyway, excited to be here. Yeah, thank you for being here with us. We really appreciate it. Of course. For those of you that are just joining us, as I said, this is LinkedIn Live celebrating National Tire Safety Week. It kicked off on June 28th this past Monday and will go through July 4th. Um, we're here to help spread the message and get some awareness around our tire safety tips and tricks. Um, at BridgestoneAmericas.com slash tire safety, we'll walk through some of those with Graham today. Um, but first of all, Graham, so we were talking a little bit before and you mentioned that you have a new baby girl. So I know that tire safety and you know your way around tires is really important for you. Can you talk a little bit about that and what it means now? Yeah, so it is. It's extremely important to me. Uh, not that I ever took my safety for granted before, but certainly... Yeah. When you have a seven and a half month old now in the back seat, I remember the first drive I took with her from the hospital home. It's pretty intense, you know. It, it is different. It's very different. Uh, so, you know, we do road trip a ton. My family, it's very common for us to go. You know, if a race is probably within eight, ten hours, we're probably going to road trip there. Particularly now because I've got my baby girl, my 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 two dogs, my wife, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> so we all road trip to a lot of those different events, but. Uh, it's important, and I think all the tips and things that we've been promoting today are definitely critical for people to keep in mind. So why don't we get to this? I believe there's three of them, right? There is. All right, let's there see. There is, and I should, I should remember because I've been doing this all day. But the three things to remember are inflate, rotate, and evaluate. So inflate is obviously to make sure that your tires are at the right pressures. Um, there's a couple of places to look for that, but the main place is going to be inside the, dire, uh, the, the driver's uh, door jam. There's going to be a sticker. That sticker is going to have the inflation pressure of what it should be. Some people say, well, on the tires, look on the tire. That is the maximum inflation pressure. So I would look on the inside of the door jam as place number one for you to be able to, to recognize where it should be. Overinflated tires, bad for the tire. Underinflated, of course, bad for the tire, but also bad for fuel economy, which is important particularly the price of fuel sure, right yeah. now, it's critical on these long road trips to keep in mind. Obviously from a rotating standpoint, uh, front to rear, side to side, if your alignment is slightly off, it's gonna wear maybe a tire, whatever that is, unevenly. So you should probably get that checked, but also on top of that, get it, get rotation done, get those rears put on the front if your tire, if your car is a square setup, and <clears throat> be able to switch through that and make sure that you guys are, are helping the wear uh, in the health of your tires. And the last thing, of course, is evaluate. So evaluate to me is go and look, make sure that your tires are in good shape, there's no nails, anything like that. A lot of times you can't see that. Uh, make sure that your lug nuts or bolts or whatever it may be uh, is, is, uh, is tight. And I'm, I'm gonna pull this out. No, I didn't bring this just for this. I found a lucky penny yesterday. So I'm yeah, using yeah. it. Heads up, right? But if you, if you put, uh, it was heads up. Yeah. But if you put Abe's head down in the tire tread and his head is, completely exposed, you can see the whole thing, that means you do not have 
enough tread on your tire and it's an unsafe tire, so you need to get them replaced. Yeah, absolutely. Those are absolutely great tips. Super easy to remember. Inflate, rotate, evaluate. Now, people watching here probably are not experts at rotating their tires, maybe like you are in your souped up garage. But um, if someone needs help rotating, what do you suggest? So obviously, uh, Bridgestone Corporation owns a bunch of, of tire shops that you can go to, auto care shops that you can go to. Um, but on top of that, you do have your local independents that you should look at. Um, so whether it's a local independent tire shop or even your dealer, a lot of those places can, should, will help get that, get you back in line. Very good. So what's, I know we've had some uh, interviews earlier today and there was a question that everybody asked, which was like, one of the, what was one of the, what's the one thing that we need to know about tires? that's super important that maybe a lot of people don't think about? Well, what a lot of people don't think about, I hear this often, oh, I need to get my brakes checked. My brakes are number one. That is true, you do, but the number one most important thing, if you're myself, you got my wife and my baby girl, my two dogs in the back, our only contact with the earth at that stage is our tires. And if our tires are not in good condition and they're not safe, then we are not safe. If I don't have enough tread and we're going down the freeway and all of a sudden, you know, we hit a patch of rain and we go sliding around and crash, there's a reason for that. And you need to make sure that you look at it. This weekend, 4th of July coming up, obviously over the next couple of weeks, and I've already seen it, because again, in IndyCar, we've been going around the country a little bit. I've been driving to a bunch of races. It's busy on the roadways right now. There's a lot of people out and about, but this next weekend and the remainder of the summer, I anticipate even more. Just make sure you take your time. It doesn't take that long. Take sure. your time to do it. Um, and I think we forgot to mention too, when it comes to your, your tire pressures, every gas station that I've ever seen yeah. has a, you know, uh, an, an inflation pump, uh, you know, so if you need an air pump. So if you need that, utilize that. Tire pressure gauges, yeah. you should always have one anyway. So throw it in the glove box and you'll always be covered. Very good, very good, yeah. So, um, British America has actually conducted a survey not too long ago that said 50% of Americans are planning to do a road trip of some sort this summer, get back on the road. I know we talked about the races this summer, July 4th, Labor Day, and then you roll into the winter and yeah. you've got the weather that kind of changes sporadically. So um, inflate, rotate, evaluate is definitely an all year thing to remember for sure. I think so too, and, and that's what I kind of mentioned today. We're, we're talking about summer. But even when you think into the fall, if you're from the Midwest like me, when you get big temperature changes, hot, cold, hot, that affects your tire pressures a lot. And so you need to make sure even as you go into the fall, the winter, that you're staying on top of this because they will change. And if your car hasn't moved in a while, you better believe the pressures are gonna be very low. So always check it out. It, as I said a second ago, it's super easy. Obviously in the Indy cars, you know, we're on top. Tire pressures are the number one thing that we mess with to adjust the car. But at the same time, if we have too low of tire pressures, it's detrimental to the tires. It puts us in a bad position. If they're too high, we lose a lot of grip. So we, we it affects us in the Indy cars a lot, and I can guarantee if it affects us there, it'll affect you guys. Absolutely. Well. And you're going what? 240 miles an hour at that rate. So we are pretty fast. Um, so those tires are really important for them. So. Let's shift a little bit away from that. I know you're an IndyCar racer, so you're having a pretty good season. Um, let's talk about the blast half. You're about to go into mid-Ohio, so talk a little bit about that and what you see for the rest of the year. Yeah, so we've had a decent year. I think I'm eighth in points. Um, our downfall is we've had two really bad ones. The Indy 500, we were in a position to win it, actually, but uh, we had a wheel fall off. So no, not a tire, not a tire <laughs> problem. Uh, but the wheel fell off. And unfortunately, we crashed. That was race over for us. But that was a double points race, so that put us way behind in points, um, which is uh, which is not. That's why we're eighth. Because aside from that, we finished in the top five pretty much every single weekend. So sure. this weekend, we hope to be able to get a win. I mean, Mid Ohio is my home. I'm from Columbus, Ohio, so Mid Ohio is my home track. I grew up coming here. Loved coming here, and so still do. So hopefully we'll have a good one. Well, we wish you the best of luck at Mid Ohio Home Turf. Hopefully this is your opportunity to break through, get on the podium. We're really excited about that, and we'll be watching closely. So I really appreciate you coming out to talk to us a little bit about tire safety, inflate, rotate, evaluate. Check out Bridgestone Safety or BridgestoneAmericas.com/tire safety. For more information, Graham, I really appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys very much. And guys, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it from here in the Bridgestone Americas Technical Center in Akron, Ohio. Have a great day.